Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. In this shave, I am using my Tier Izar Bison. Oh, yeah. Beautiful razor. This is 7 8 blade. Full hollow, check that out, isn't that marvelous? This is faux turtle, and it's just a fantastic shaver, it is. Now for my soap tonight, here we go, Sterling Soap Company, and this is Black Eyes. So do you remember when uh, back in the day we used to have black licorice? That is what this scent is. And I personally really enjoy that black licorice scent it is just marvelous it is now i have had that blooming we're going to pour off that bloom water put that on as a pre-shave now this does have some menthol in it as well which is nice mm -hmm. it has got that nice licorice scent and the menthol yeah it takes it up a notch yeah it does very nice now this is also going to be a cold water shave for me it has been hot here it has so i'm going to transition i think into cold water shaves now for my brush here we go that is the connecticut quarter brush yep now this really inexpensive just made it on my own i had the handle and that's a got a maggard razor 22 millimeter synthetic knob yep so it is a splash and go we're just going to get that wet and get some of that water out of it just like that yeah buddy yep and let's go ahead see how gray that is yep Let's go ahead and get that brush loaded up yep yeah so hopefully you are well the world's treating you good and you're in high spirits yep here we go this is the midweek shave the wonderful wednesday shave of the day hump day yep and hopefully like i say you're getting some good shaves yeah oh yeah yep and wherever you are hope your weather is good yeah here it's all right it's just a little warm a little warmer than uh, normal actually for this time of year but that's okay oh i think i think we're gonna call that right there we're gonna call that good and let's just see if we can get some of that there we go get that put that up there and Kind of finish cleaning that out just like that. Yep. All right. Looking good. Now, let's go ahead. We're just going to put that on, rub it in, massage it. This is a great way to prep those whiskers for a good straight razor shave. Yep, you're going to shave with this soap anyway. Might as well use it as a pre-shave. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it's got some menthol in it. Oh, I do like that. Yep. Especially this time of year. It is starting to become menthol season. Yep. Yep. And by the way, this is a tallow base soap. So if you like slick soaps, yeah, yeah, Sterling Soap Company, they can do it for you. Yeah. So this is really good for that. And here we go. This is my Crown King Travel Scuttle. This has got cold water in it instead of hot. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of work that lather a little bit in that 
foam just like that and get it in that brush really good all right so we're going to leave that and oh yeah nice cold oh that feels so good yeah that's filled up with cold water right straight from my well which is going to be around 55 degrees all year round so that's good yep there we go now get some water on that and see if we can't kick it up a bit mm -hmm. yeah it's quite possible I have got enough water in there already yeah oh yeah look at that that's just marvelous yes it is let's work it just a little bit more simply because that menthol is starting to kick in and it feels good yeah it does yeah how about you in those warmer weather situations do you like that menthol mm-hmm yeah yeah let us know down in the comments yeah also wanted to thank Manish our newest MVP team member and I really appreciate you and all you do to support the channel thank you so much now here we go this is pass one and for me primarily that's going to be with the grain let's do this all right laying that razor flat raise it about a spine width We're looking for approximate 20 to 30 degree shaving angle. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice. Get that blade cleaned off find that mold yeah if you have any spots that you need to make sure you don't run over find them yeah there we go that is good Coming in there straight, landing really gentle, and then rotate that blade down. All right, looking good. There we go. Nice. 
Now let's find these spots, just like that. Nice, nice. There we go. All right. Yeah, remember every time you land in a different spot, go ahead and you're going to have to find, refine that uh, shaving angle. Okay, very important. Oh, nice. Good first pass. Nice slick soap. Just putting water on it. Look at that. Coming back to life. Yep. So that's good. Now we're going to go ahead and dry that off. And I'm just kind of pushing that off in there like that. All right, so we're going to build the lather on our face just like this. Oh, wonderful. And that scuttle does a fine job in the winter with hot water and then does a great job in the summer with cold water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it's not really summer yet, but it's summer weather here. Mm -hmm. And it will be summer soon. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Oh, that's good. All right, we're gonna get just a bit more water on that. Nice, 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 nice. Now, let's go ahead and do pass two. For me, primarily, that is going to be against the grain, except on each side of my neck where it will be across the grain. All right. There we go. Nice, that's good. All right. And 
That hand is still kind of slippery. Yep. bump again. There we go. All right. Nice. And while I'm thinking about it, like this video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. That will help me. And I really appreciate all your thumbs up. Mm-hmm. I do. Now, switching hands, going to get this other side. There we go. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Looking good. Yeah, this Tierra Zora Bison, fantastic razor. Really is without a doubt. Now, let's see how we did. Oh, wow. Oh, the cheeks are brilliant right where they are. Nice, nice, nice. Now, while I'm thinking about it as well, uh, Dougie Shaves just started straight razor shaving on the weekends on his channel. 
I will leave a link down below for his channel. I think the rest of the week he is doing DE shaves, that kind of thing. And he's been a longtime subscriber, so check him out down in the description as well. And uh, Paul Speller, okay, he just worked on a wonderful vintage razor, so check him out. I'll have his channel down in the description, all right? Now, this is going to be the half pass for me. So all we're going to do is jawline the neck. Yep, that's all I need. And I'm going to get a fantastic shave. I am. Yeah, so now Paul did just restore a beautiful razor and uh, did a test shave with it. So you can check that out. Okay, here we go. Time for the half pass. For me, primarily, that is going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Let's do this. Nice. Oh, that feels good. It does. Now, going to reach around with this other hand. There we go. Nice. All right, another shave in the books. Yep. Now, let's get that rinsed off. Oh, nice. Oh, wonderful shave. Mmm, so good. Now, here we go. We're going to use cold water and do a final rinse. Nice, nice, nice. That feels good. Now, no bumps were harmed in the filming of this shave video. However, I'm still going alum everywhere. This is astringent and antiseptic, and it is great if you hit one of those bumps or two because it will seal that off, it will tighten that skin, and close your pores as well. Yep, so that's good. There you go, just like that. And now for me, I'm just gonna dry that off. And if you can't take alum straight up, go with cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. In my case, I am going with the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. This is lemonade for the face and it is marvelous. Yes, it is. It's got the most 
wonderful lemon scent to it. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it is. And I'm going to put that everywhere. I am. Yep. And hopefully <laughs> this week I'm going to take care of this hair. All right. We're going to see how that goes. I'll keep you informed on that one. All right. Here we go. Next up, Nivea Cooling Poche Balm. This stuff is good. Yes, it is. Get the moisture back in the skin. And I think I hit you, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Oh, oh that feels good. And we're going to do some Osage Rub. Yeah, buddy. This is really going to be good. And it's going to... Give us a nice menthol hit. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see the 2021 Straight Talk about straight razors. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.